Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we're getting it all in the dark story led adventure, The Prince of Landis. Now this was developed by Lawstone, published by Rattalika Games, and is usually available for $7.99. So we play as Evelyn, a young lad in the middle of absolutely butt flub nowhere in Landis, Oregon. One mystical creature later, and all of a sudden Evan has this ability to stand up to the school bullies and his dickwad dad. Now this is more unique in the way of it's a visually novelly, character driven, puzzle solving adventure game and it is a real good one to be fair. Uh, but achievements wise there are lots of missables but because the game is very short and you can save as well there's nothing you can really miss or have to go out of your way for. Still hopefully the video is fast slash slow enough that you can easily follow along. All in all it's another nice half hour completion so with that being said then let us begin. So what we can do here then is just start a new game. Now, remember the days of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the no Russian mission where you had a choice whether to kill innocent men, women and children, or skip it entirely? I mean, the controversy was insane. Skip forward to 2021 and we now have a choice whether to keep certain words in the game or go to modern day sensitivity because, of course, people do get offended by lots of words these days. But, I mean, don't get me wrong, it is good that there is a choice because apparently everyone in their 80s was a complete butthole. So, well, <laughs> that's according to absolutely everyone anyway. So, apologies if you were born in the 80s, but you were a butt snatch, apparently. So, a um, couple of things that we should... Uh, this bit's automatic anyway. What we can do is skip the dialogue by pressing the uh, LB slash L1 button. Um, like I said, there'll be a lot of dialogue through the game. We don't have to actually speak or say anything, but as soon as the dialogue comes up, don't call me a butthole, you're a butthole. Uh, again, just press the left bumper to skip all of the dialogue. Um, and of course, we've got the typical 1980s uh, slick style douchebag with a complete micro penis who, genuinely, if it, there is a bully out there, it's probably because the penis is about 1 inch, 1.5 inches. So, always remember that. <clears throat> so, uh you know, if you're a bully, screw you. Genuinely screw you. But anyway, now we can begin. So we can pick up the hat, press the A button, slash cross on the PlayStation. And now we can move on. You can actually press the square button or the uh, X button on the Xbox to run faster. So that's what we're going to be doing for a lot. And boy, can this boy sprint. So when we're here, we can now head up. And we're going to be getting a whole bunch of achievements. Jeez, we're going to get a bunch. So interact with the red truck in front of us, or the orange truck, and then interact with this thing that says tug, the toolbox tug. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to stand for. Anyway, to the left of the house, interact with this um, drain pipe. It's more of the antenna that's going to get us the third achievement here before we can head into the house. Right, go to the left and there's going to be a stove in the kitchen on our left, so we interact with that, can't cook anything because our dad's a douchebag as well. Head up past your dad on the settee and next to the TV is a phone. Interact with the phone, that's going to be another achievement. And now we can talk to dad himself. Uh, just d literally typical douchebag dad. And now we can head up the, up the stairs on the left. Directly in front of us is our comic book collection, kind of looks like a podium, pyramid podium, so... Interact with that, that's another achievement. Down and to the right, interact with the drawings on the floor, that is yet another achievement. And then we can interact with the um, top right, well, the right hand corner where we are, all the sports stuff, that is another achievement for us there. So head into the bathroom, look in the mirror, and you've got the dick and ball sink right there, but that gets us another achievement. And then we can finally head into our bed, and you can save if you want. This generally never any reason to save we don't need to reload a save or whatever but you can if you want so with that one we can now head out and down dad's flat out probably jerking off his micro penis as well the douchebag and now we can head out we're gonna go up towards the green light because apparently nobody else in the whole of landis uh seen this green light and as you'll be able to see when we head up Nobody's seen this big giant UFO, <laughs> so speak to the alien, and there's going to always be quite a bit of dialogue, but he's actually going to be our pal, so you can't beat that. Thank you. 
Quick, I'm supposed to be in the new alien game, but my goddamn UFO crashed. Now everyone's gonna get away. So, we need to get the alien back into the new alien game. But what we can do is head up the stairs now. We come here automatically. And then what we can do is just head back to bed and really try to have a think of what the hell just happened. Being punched in the face by all the micro we need people in town, plus we just seen an alien. You know, it's a lot to take in, to be fair. So, when we are up and awake, Dad's still there watching TV. We're just going to ignore him and go out of the house. And we're just going to head to the right. Remember, keeping hold of the uh, X slash square button to keep on sprinting. Go to the right, right, meow. And fly it out, keep going to the right. Now, I thought something more sinister was going to happen, especially in those woods, but apparently not. So we're going to head down. And we're just going to go to the right. Basically, we're going to have to go to school now. So again, we're trying to keep going right. Shannon's easy discount. I bet she's easy. Porky's gas. Oh, you can buy some prick beer if you wanted as we head to the right. We'll buy that prick beer a bit later on, though. So head up here. Right here is the school. And then what we can do... Not a lot happens in this school. We only end up speaking to Dustin on the very right-hand side. We've got Micro Weenie Jason there with a the number seven, but again, you can just ignore him. So, left bumper, smash it all out. And eventually, we can now just leave school. Luckily, because school was... Well, school was crap, right? School was awful. Right, basically, what we're going to do is just head back to our house now. So, head all the way to the left... And all we're doing then is just basically heading back to the alien. So we're heading up right here. All right here. And then up again. And then another cutscene is going to happen. We're basically, what we're doing is basically feeding the alien through the whole game. So, I mean, you, you can't beat it. He's, he's going to help us kill some bullies, hopefully. And all we've got to do is feed him. Easy. He does look like he needs a snack though. Skinny bitch. Right, so once he's been fed, what we can do is just head back down and back down again. Be more cunning. Okay, well, thanks for that. My goodness, what an idea. Why didn't I think of that? Anyway, we're going to head into our house now. So head into there, and then immediately, just to the right of us, there is a pile of cans on the ground. So again, press the A button to pick them up. That's also going to get us another achievement called Canned. And there we go. Right, what we can do from here is head to the right this time. And what we're going to do is now um, head to the right again, and then pick up the dead rabbit. Which is just in the middle of the road right here. So, there we go. Pick him up. Delicious. Now we can just head back to the alien. Um, yeah. Don't, uh, well, I was going to say, I don't know why he can't just get it himself, but... Oh, there's an alien, I suppose. So, head up back to the alien. Give him his <laughs> beer and rabbit food, which is... I mean, to be honest, that, that was a, a pretty precise diet in the 1980s for a lot of American towns, I assume. Still, the 80s diet still beats the asbestos sandwiches from the 1940s and 50s. So, anyway, what we're going to do is just head down, and we're heading back into our house, and we're going back to bed. Again, we really need to figure out what we're going to do, and how the hell has nobody else, tra you know, taken a walk up there, and gone, holy sugar, it's an alien. Um, but apparently we're the only ones to know that, so... Well, we're happy with that. Again, you can save here. It's not necessarily... You don't necessarily need to save at all. So that is fine. But, you know, just in case. So, we can now just head back down. Once we've woken up, Dad is flat out again. God damn, this dumbass don't move. 
Which is actually fine for us. He won't know that there's an alien just up above us there, next to the tug toolbox. <laughs> anyway, back down and head to the right. And then heading to the right again, of course. Hell of a shot, by the way, for Dad to run over the rabbit there. That was uh, pretty impressive in the snow. Heading down, and then heading back to the right. This time we're going to be doing a few more things than just going to school. So just in between the two shops, there's a little alleyway. Go ahead and pick up the pry bar, Shannon's easy fistable discount. Head to the left, and we interact with this vending machine. What it's going to do, uh, press yes as well. Just keep, again, spamming the A slash left bumper button. That's going to get us some coins. So you should now have a pry bar and some coins in your inventory. So now we're just going to head all the way to the right. And this time what we're going to do is head inside Porky's Gas. We want that prick beer. <laughs> prick beer. Uh, interact with Tommy, the shopkeeper guy. And he's basically going to give us these gold coins. So no prick beer for us. Apparently we're too young. Fine, I'll just take regular beer then. God damn it. Anyway, what we can do is now head into the school. And we're going to speak to Dustin Portier on the right hand side. Righto then, so when school is done and dusted, we're actually going to head back into the classroom. So go back into the same door that you just came out of. And if we go up and to the right on the old uh, teacher's desk, there's a little jar that we can pick up. Mason jar, that's going to also get us another achievement as well. Achievements flying at us. Like mosquitoes on bloody holiday. Trying to bite your leg, but achievements are better. So now we can head out and we're going to head to the left again. Now we're really getting into the nitty gritty. So, just left of Porky's Gas, there's a little alleyway we can go up. That is what we're heading up. That is a little secret area. It's going to get us an achievement, but we need to pick up these uh, green um, things on the ground. Rusty tin snips. Yeah. Rusty players. Whatever they're called. Make sure to pick them up before heading out. And then we can now head to the right. Right. And head all the way to the right again. New area for us to look into. So go into this first sort of house. Looks kind of abandoned, but interact with the planks. And now we can actually just head in. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, okay, thanks. This is Stranger Things 3.0. Interact with the yellow wire on the ground. Uh, it doesn't do anything apart from get us an achievement. But if you head to the left and interact with the orange wire on the left and then the orange wire on the right, just right here, there we go. So you now should have two... Uh, two orange wires in your inventory as well. Alright, so now what we could do is just actually head all the way back home now. We are done for the day, thank God. This little mountain town of South Park. But before that, what we're going to do, head left here and then our friend Dustin, right in the shadow box antique store, just interact with the door right here and that is going to get us another achievement. So make sure to interact with the shadow box antique stores. And that gets you that achievement for checking all the points of Egress. And now with that, we can actually just head back home and back up to the alien. Boy, I tell you, Men in Black 4 has really lost a lot of production. Uh, did, mustn't have had much money this time for the uh, new MIB film. Anyway, uh, the, the, the good ones, you know, with Will Smith, not, not with uh, Chris Hemsworth. Anyway, we're going to head back down now. Uh, we are heading to the right. Basically, we're going to be um, uncovering like a new shortcut section. So if we just keep heading to the right here, we're going to uncover this sort of, yeah, shortcut section, but I don't know if it actually makes it go any quicker. But go to the right and then interact with the manhole cover on the ground. Um, and that will put us down into the sewers. 
what we could do is head right past this stuff, down, and then we can just head up. Again, no enemies, nothing to deal with, so don't worry about that. But if we interact with this generator right here, this is going to get us another achievement, and it's going to sort us out of what we need as well. Now we can head to the left, and back into this creepy little abandoned wooden shack, as it were. Head into the right top corner, and just interact. Have a look at the moths in the light. Uh, eventually, you've got to actually look at the moths. There we go. <laughs> so, maybe the guest can eat them. Yeah, crack an idea. So that gets us another achievement. The Entomologist achievement, plus we've obviously got another snack for the newest alien in the Worst Men in Black film. Which is going to be, apparently. Anyway, to the left and into the school now. And then what we can do is head into our classroom, which is the first blue door. And then in the top left-hand corner is going to be a blue book. We can pick that up. That's going to get us another achievement. And that should be popped into your inventory as well. So, out of the school... Again, incredibly uh, knowledgeable that you're missing everything. Now, you can... We're going back to the alien, so you can either go to the left or you can go to the right and take the shortcut. Uh, generally, I think there's literally about half a second difference, to be honest. Uh, there's really not a lot of difference. So, from here, heading up to the left-hand top corner and then through. Yeah, not a lot of difference at all. Even with Evan's incredible Usain Bolt-style sprinting. And after all that, finally it's bedtime. Jesus Christ. I, what, what is this alien working on? Surely, you know, you you would have had all alien technological advances and stuff by now. Don't be... Don't try being another Roger from American Dad, please. There's only one Roger. You can't be him. Just try and stick with filming for the new Men in Black film, right? So, into the house. Heading into your bed. Again, you can save if you want, but... Uh, again, that's up to you if you feel like you've missed something, but hopefully you shouldn't have. Anyway, save yes or no, up to you, otherwise we can now head on back to school. So what we're going to do is head, start heading back to school, only this time, um, the half an inch weenie boys are going to be there. Mm, so keep heading to the right, and basically they're going to be jealous because our dong is a mega four and a half inches. Well, that did look bloody painful, man, especially the kick to the gut. Ho, ho, ho. Anyway, you get an achievement for being beaten the crap out of, and now you're going to talk to Mr. Moon. Hell of a... Let me go. What are you going to do with that, man? Why was that even a thing? Oh, naughty. Let me spank your bottom. What? 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 How was that ever a thing? Anyway, that'll get you another achievement anyway. Unmissable. And now we can head to the right after school. I still don't get it. Anyway, what we can do is just head all the way to the right again. And then we are heading all the way to the right into the manhole cover. Basically, what we're going to do is, well, we, we're going to head home. So again, when we're here, we're actually heading up to the alien rather than home, so head up there. Uh, still, I never get that. Why, why parents in the sort of 50s and 60s when, yeah, that'll teach you discipline, 
being smacked on your ass by a complete stranger. Uh, no thanks, dickwad, I'd be fuming. Well, why was that ever a thing? Man, punishment in the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s was weirdly stupid. So, time to go to a new area anyway, so we're only about five or six minutes away now from uh, finishing the game, so we're heading down. Um, heading to the right. And this time, when we're here, what we're going to do is head to the left this time, so that's where we're going. There's going to be a lone chicken, we're going to head past the truck, sorry, into the next area. And there is going to be a lone KFC. There it is, yum yum yum, Colonel's favourite. That's how we got his chicken tasting so good, by the way. Just went and stole random chickens. Anyway, heading to the house. What we can do now is uh, grab this small tank for the guest, which is on the left-hand side there, where, where we are right now. And then what we're going to do is head to the fireplace, interact with the fireplace. That's going to get us another achievement. And then if we head up to the organ, we're going to, again, press the always press the yes button, take a couple of keys off the organ, and then interact with the stairs on your left-hand side. So that should get us two items and two different achievements as well. So you should have everything, even though my Welsh Hunter sign's in the way, apologies. But you should have those few things right there. Anyway, what we could do now is head to the right, past this uh, weird stalky guy. Yeah, he looks like he's broken down, which isn't funny. Um, head to the right again. I say it's not funny because I did used to laugh at that and I've broken down more times than I can remember. So... It's not funny when it happens to you, is it? No. Anyway, head down. And this time what we're going to do is head to the left on this creepy little narrow path. You're going to interact with the toolbox here on the rock. That's going to pick up the toolbox and get us another achievement. Interact with the generator here. And that is going to uh, sort us out for some story progression as well. Heading to the right and heading to the right. Checking the power. Checking the power. Na 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 um, Right anyway, we're actually heading into Porky's gas this time so go ahead and get in there And what we're gonna do is steal the batteries from right in front of him just to the left of uh, Tommy boy uh, So grab the batteries that's gonna get us the discount Achievement and we can now head back to the left uh, Basically we are heading back up to the alien again. We've only got literally a few minutes left now. We are starting to fly it but this was a very enjoyable game. Uh, head to the left. Uh, just so you know as well, there are actually two endings. Only one that we need for the, for the achievement. But if you wanted to um, see the other ending as we head up here. Basically, we're just going back to the alien. So if you do want to see the other ending, after this next cutscene with the alien, make a go to your bed, make a manual save, and you'll be able to see that second ending. Anyway, go ahead, speak to our alien pal again. Where's the camera crews? Getting cold now. So this is it then, we've only basically got one more thing left to do, so again if you wanted to see the second ending as well, go to your bed now and make a manual save, if not, what we're going to do is basically head back to the school, so this is it, this is how you get revenge on any bullies, hopefully if there's a big alien that's crashed just where you live, um, that, that would definitely help your service and purposes, and that he doesn't eat you as well, you know. So if you can do that, then fine. <laughs> Your bullies are more than taken care of. But of course, the um, chances of that happening are very slim. So, I mean, what was the 80s revenge, wasn't it? Like, um, banging their mom and becoming the new stepdad. And they can't actually do anything. <laughs> Funny. 
So anyway, heading all the way to the right, you don't have to speak to Mr. Moon right here, you can actually just speak to the bullies. And that'll be basically the end of the game then, so all you've got to do is just enjoy the cutscene. And again, if you want to get revenge 80 style, bang their mom, okay? Just bang. <coughs> That was a pretty dark ending. <laughs> I wanted to do something about them, not actually snap their necks in half, but well, I tell you what, at least they won't, well, at least they're not going to bother you anymore, huh? But anyway, that should now be 35 out of 35 achievements. You should be all golden dandy. And there we go, then, guys and gals. So, what did you think of the game? Was that enjoyable? Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you enjoyed and the guide helped as well. I just want to say a big, massive uh, thank you to everyone who continues to support the show and the channel on Patreon and those who are not on Patreon as well. So, big, huge uh, thank you. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well if you, if you did think it was helpful. Uh, again, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, all the socials. Check me out on there. But for now, I shall see you in the next one, you bunch of beautifulnesses. Ba 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 big love.